Hey guys, welcome to a bootstrap tutorial series. I am Ripon Dutta. In this part, I am going to show you the table. I mean, we have some bootstrap classes. Those we can implement in the uh, table. Okay. So let's go to the template. This is our HTML5 template or HTML template. Mm. Here, what we need to do is first of all, I want to create one div. Class name is container. And this is also from Bootstrap class. Then I want to apply a table. I want to uh, add a table. So t hat, let's say. T head first name last name and simply let's say email okay then t body t body suppose I have a name mm, my name for example then email let's say ripon at example.com okay and this is not a real <laughs> email id so similarly we can create we can add some more table rows let's say Will Smith then John Doe. Okay, simply this is our simple table. So just show in the browser, then you will see that. Yep, first name, last name, and email. So this is our basic HTML table. Now, if you simply add a class called table, then you can see that table class is now implemented in the table. So this is this class is from Bootstrap, and we can add one more property uh, sorry one more class which is stripped table is stripped so you can see now it is striped now I want to add one more class which is table bordered okay so this is table dash bordered then Let's see. Yep. Now I have the table with border. And it has some other classes also like um, table dash hover. Then you can see that. Yep. So you can easily see this effect if you don't apply the striped class then yep I can see that we have um, table hover class okay then we can apply one more class let's say table condensed now if you notice that we have some padding in every you know you can see in every row we have a padding sum okay now if you apply you can see that now that padding is now reduced little bit okay so this is this class name is table dash condensed bootstrap also have some you know 
contextual classes which is which might be useful in a you know certain um, situation like warning active info information or danger if you need to display something like that then you can add those but still we can add those classes in the table also let's say I want to see this is an active record okay and this class or this row is now um, let's say what danger okay then this row is now um, let's say what info then run it you can see that now this is the uh, color of what active and this is the color of danger and this is the color of info and if you change it info to warning then yep this is the warning so even we can apply those classes here also if you have some you know danger record or informative record in the table you can add those classes now I want to show you one more class which is table responsive if we don't apply that class now you can see that if our device size is becoming um, what smaller then you can see that after some time your headline is now broken okay I mean your heading is now broken so what can we do in this scenario basically we can implement one more class which is um, table dash responsive okay and it should be outside of the table class outside of the table structure okay so this is your table and I added that responsive class outside of the table okay so now if you see applied then you can see that once it is very smaller size then it is adding a scroll bar see but it is not breaking the heading if you don't apply that um, table responsive it will break the line so now it is more responsive okay all right so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you have any question or any types of uh, tutorial you want you can write in the comment box thank you see you soon in the next tutorial